A bulk carrier is on a time charter to load scrap steel at three Australian ports for Indonesia and Singapore. She arrives at the last load port with 16,000 tons of scrap steel on board. Because of port congestion, she anchors on arrival and waits for berth. The ship's management decides to paint number one topside tank. The tank is ventilated by an electric fan and illuminated by cargo light. Chief officer checks the oxygen content in the tank. It is 21%. He issues the enclosed space entry permit and the crew prepare the tank for painting. In the morning, at 8 o'clock, the chief officer checks the tank's oxygen content and finds it to be 21%. He issues the enclosed space entry permit again. Bosun and the crew prepare for spray painting. The paint drum and the spray painting machine is positioned on the deck. Communication with the bridge is maintained using a portable VHF radio, which is not intrinsically safe. The ratings engaged in painting are wearing dust masks and goggles. The entire deck crew is involved in the task either inside or outside, and the operation is supervised by the chief officer. Crew starts painting using the spray painting machine. The paint used is a two-part epoxy and is mixed with 30% thinner for easy flow during spray painting. The thinner to paint ratio is much higher than the paint manufacturer's recommendation. At 1 o'clock, the painting operation is suspended for lunch. After lunch, the chief officer takes another reading and finds the oxygen content to be 21%. The chief officer leaves for the bridge and asks Bosun to supervise the operation. At 4.25, crew completes painting and starts cleaning up the equipment. At about 4.35, an explosion occurs inside the tank, killing two men inside the tank. Two men who were attending the spray painting machine are thrown overboard and lose their lives.